praise to the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's good being in the house of the Lord this morning. Woo. Praise God. Praise God. He's going to make it all right. I said he's going to make it all right. Not some of it right. He's going to make it all right. Every bit of it's going to be right. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. They, they said it's going to snow tomorrow, Pastor. I said, we're going to have church tomorrow. They said, oh, you don't understand, it's going to snow. I said, well, we're going to pray God moves it out. When I went to bed last night, I, I didn't know if my prayers were working or not, Brother Phillips. It was snowing like the devil. When I woke up this morning, when I woke up this morning, looked out the window, the roads were clear, and it was pouring rain. And I said, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm glad to be in revival service. Amen. I'm glad for what the Lord is doing. Amen. What a what a tremendous week of revival we had last week. Amen. We're excited about Brother and Sister Phillips being back with us this week. Amen. Amen. We we're just we're just gonna open it up and let the Lord move. Amen. Whatever God wants to do, we want to receive it. Isn't that right? Amen. I appreciate every one of you being here this morning. Man, I'm so thankful for the presence of the Lord that's here. Amen. It's revival time. I said it's revival time. Amen. Brother Phillips, we want you to come this morning. We want you to take your liberty. Preach to us what God's put on your heart. How many is going to help the preacher preach today? Praise God. God bless you, Brother Phillips. Come on, let's give it unto the Lord. Come on, he's good to us. If you're breathing... That is enough reason to praise him. You walked in this morning, that is enough reason to praise him. You got out of bed this morning, that is enough reason to praise him. <laughs> See, I, I, I don't know about you, but I was talking to the lady at the motel room and she said, you know, sure, this is a grab and go breakfast I said you ain't got no biscuit and gravy she said mm -mm. she said I've never eat biscuit and gravy I said ma'am you've never lived big old cat head biscuit is some chocolate gravy and you drag it through and it tears it off oh Jesus my God I'm excited to be here this morning sis that's got the vest on and with the red yeah Yes, ma'am. There's a situation that you're facing, and if you'll praise him in a dance, he will turn this thing around for you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, girl. Come on, go ahead. The pressure, the pressure is coming off in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, girl, go ahead. I'm going to praise him even though I don't even feel like it. I'm going to praise him even though I hadn't seen it yet. Hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. You've been wringing your hands over and over and over. The finances is going to take a turn, and it's going to come straight up in the name of G Jesus Christ. You watch what it does. Go ahead, girl. Let them feet get right. Hey, let them feet get light. You may, you may have to kick them high heel shoes off. Preacher, I'm tired. Hey, I, hey, I'm tired myself. Come on. Oh, Jesus, my Lord God. I like this, man. I, I, I don't know about you. This is good stuff. Praise God. Matthew cha chapter 10. It's an honor to be here. And it's an honor to have my wife. And, and I'm thankful for everything that she does in the ministry. Thankful. Matthew 10. We're going to start reading verse 21. When you got it, say, I got it. 
And brother shall deliver up brother to death, and the father, the child, and the children shall raise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth. He didn't say that him that stops, him that quits, to him that endureth to the end shall be saved. He didn't say you might be, maybe perhaps. No, you've endured this thing. There is something that is called life and it is relentless. It will strip you of every bit of the joy that you have in your life. It comes and it tries to tear down everything that you have in God. Because it wants to make a mockery of God. That is what life does. But once you put it into the hands of God and say, Lord, whether I live or die, I'm yours. Huh. See, when you think about quitting, you're opening up the door for your adversary to come in and torment your mind. I want to talk to us a little while. Victory is beyond the exit of quitting. Come on, victory is beyond the exit. The enemy is always going to have you an exit door and say, give up now. But if you want to endure this, come on, you got to walk with him. The miracle, the victory, it's just beyond the exit door. Come on, it's up to you. you got to make up your mind. I'm going to walk with God. Hallelujah. Let's give him a hand clap of praise. You can be seated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for standing. You know, you can stay on the interstate or you can get off and, 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 do, and do like we like to do. We like to go in the pilot and just mend around pilot, and I like to look at the donuts. I like to look at them, okay? I, I, now, there's sometimes I do, I, that I do partake, but I like to look at them, you know, and, and just go, oh, God, man, I bet they smell good when they're fresh cooked. There's something about the word quit that really begins to grip us and it pulls us to a point that says, hey, you might as well just let it go. You're not going to obtain it. You're not going to get to victory. You're not going to pass go. It's not going to turn in your favor. But I know a God that is going, hey, if you will hold on. See any old barn, see any old barnyard hound dog can whip a pit bulldog for the first 10 minutes. You know why? Because it takes that bulldog about 10 minutes to get mad. But once he's mad, he is an endurance fighter. No matter how bad the other dog has whipped up on him, no matter how bad he's hurt, but there is an endurance that is in that dog. You know what, he, hey, you know what he's going to do? He's going to say, hey, it's time to fight now. Come on. Somewhere, you, hey, hey, you got to look your adversary right in the face and say, is that the best you got? I accept your challenge. Come on. I'm not going around you. I'm not going over you. I'm going through you. I made up my mind. I'm going to worship my way through. I'm not quitting. Hey, there is no quit in me. It's easy to stop. Come on, it's easy to stop. But it takes a perseverance to when you're tired and you're disgusted and you're wore out and there are things that are screaming in your mind that are just saying, give up. Come on, give up. Come on, give up. Sis in the yellow there in the back, come on, will you stand to your feet for me, please? Yes, ma'am. Coming down to the very center right of your esophagus and just a little bit ago, what we was 
a pray, a praise in the Lord. I watched the Holy Ghost come down, sis, and just begin to touch your esophagus. I see this thing beginning to open and open right in the name of, G of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. <laughs> Come on, sister. There is a bread texture, and it's like a cornbread texture, and it wants to hang in your esophagus. God, I do thank you this morning, oh God, for opening up right. Let, oh God, you let the food flow down right in the name of, G of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, for that supernatural touch of your glory in the name of Jesus. If you're going to change the mind of somebody who is ready to quit, you got to keep going. Ecclesiastes 4, 4 and 8 says, Where the word of the king is, there is power. Hmm. So if we're going to change the mind of the king, then we must not stop. Give me Daniel 3 and 28 on the board, please, sir. Come on, man. Chop, chop. Lord Jesus. No, 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 I'm kidding. Okay. Oh, boy, quick. Watch this. They changed the king's mind. The world's going to play their tune. They're going to play their music. They're going to do their thing. They want you to partake of it. But are you ever going to change the king's mind? You can't throw in this towel. The trial that you're in right now may not be for you. It may be for, hey, it may be for that one that is watching you, that is watching how you're going to worship. Hey, 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 that's looking at how you're going to worship your way through and looking at how you are faring in this trial. Come on, honey, keep worshiping. Everything is going to turn. Come on, keep worshiping. God is bringing you out. Keep worshiping. It's turning in your favor. You, hey, you have the favor of God. Whenever the banker said no I like to jump up and shout it in the bank you know why because I know that God he's going to answer change his mind you're going to change his mind you always got somebody that's going to talk about you sorry you do. Got up one morning. Holy Ghost woke me up one morning by 7.30. Well, really, he woke me up that morning by 3 o'clock and said, get up and pray. Pray, I need to talk to you. So I got up and I just began to talk to the Lord. And, and then he said, by 7.30, he said, get up. Go to Walmart. I said, what? Get dressed, go to Walmart. He said, I'll fill in the details whenever you get there. My feet crossed over the threshold of the door. And he said, you go to the toy aisle. There is a woman that, that's coming to see you. I'm going to answer her today. She has had something on the altar. Come on, whenever we get very serious with God, God gets very serious with us. You never ask him to, uh, uh, to use you without him not waking you up and testing you and see, and see if you're going to do it. Got up and we went to Walmart and then Sister Smith and here come this lady. She was humming, there's power in the blood. And, it, and then I said, hello, ma'am, how are you? And she grabbed me right by my shirt and she said, uh-uh, man of God, you ain't going any further. I want to know what thus saith the Lord this morning. There was about to be a cleanup. Right, hey. There was about to be a cleanup out, out on the toy aisle. We was about ready to tear down everything. You know why? Because when God answered, I don't care what's going on in your life. It don't matter what is happening. You're going to worship him. You're going to praise him because God has brought you through. You didn't quit. You didn't throw in a towel. You, hey, you held on. There was a, a little boy, and, and this man said, Son, if you, if you can eat this watermelon, I'm going to give it to you. He said, I'll be right back. So he went home, and he come back, and he said, Man, where'd you go? He said, I had one at home just about that size, and if I knew I could eat that one, I know I can eat this one. When we eat the whole thing of everything that God has for us. Hello, sir. Stand your feet for me, please. 
I see finances running out of your hand. I see the Holy Ghost turning things around. Sir, I see, I'm just going to tell you what I see. I see things being sold. I see things being bought. I see things being built. I see things just going this way and that way, sir. And then it's going to turn into some real estate. And then it's going to turn into this. And then it's going to turn into this. And, sir, I don't have the education. Hey, hey, look, God didn't ask you whether you had the education. He, hey, you know what he's asking? Are you willing to give me what is mine? And I will... Well, preacher, you don't know what I've been through. I don't care what you've been through. Hey, we come to worship together. I don't care where you've been. Hey, you're in the house of God. You're Holy Ghost filled. When are we going to let go of our yesterday and praise him for our today? He didn't allow you to live for you to come in and suck up air. Hello? See, now I like to have a good time, okay? I'm a cut up. I like to enjoy life. I really do. See, I like to see people laugh, and I like to see them just rejoice and just have a good time. Why? Why? Because laughter begins to break where you are. And if we can begin to understand the power of a laugh and understand that when we look at our enemy and we laugh at him in his face, there is no comeback with a laugh. Hello, sis in the tent. Come on, stand. You, you got the mask on. Come on, stand your feet. Oh, yes, ma'am. He was praising God just a minute ago, and the Holy Ghost said, tell her that I'm going to double, and I'm going to double it, and I'm going to press it down, and I'm going to put it together, and I'm going to bless her in the name of Jesus. Sister, you've been praising him when you did, hey, when you had little. Come on, you've been praising him when you had little. God is going to press it down. Hey, he's going to give you much. Come on, he's going to give you much. Keep worshiping him. See, here is what we have to understand about God is that he will bless you beyond your vocabulary. <laughs> well, preacher, I can't think that high. I'm sorry, I can. One man said, Brother Phillips, you stutter. I don't want you counting my money. I said, okay. <laughs> Some of y'all figured out in a minute, okay. So why do we allow the enemy to keep an exit door in front of us when the victory is just beyond the door? Joseph could have quit. He could have laid with Potiphar's wife. No, sir. I'm going to tell you something. God will not compromise your character to change your circumstances. He won't do it. It ain't happening. Because your, your character is more important to God than, than your circumstances are. So suck it up. You know why? Because God is making you a diamond, and then he's going to cut you, and then he's going to mold you so you will sparkle right in a time of pressure. See, there's always someone that's going to say something about you. Look, I've been talked about so much, it don't matter anymore. I've got so many teeth marks on my body, pick a place and bite, it don't matter. Come on. 
The only thing that matters is that he loves us. That's the only thing that matters is that we are enduring this race together. Whenever you don't think that you can make it, there is somebody that is on the other side of the mountain, honey. They are praying for you. They are interceding for you. There is somebody going, God, I don't know who this is for, but my God, you're going to bring them through. You're going to heal them. You're going to heal their family. You are bringing them out of that circumstance. See, the power that is in you is greater than the temptation that is coming at you. And then we have to make up our mind, who and what are we going to do? Hallelujah, God. Mm, Jesus. Sis, he's going to work it out. You've been thinking, God, this ain't going to happen. I'm sorry. There has been a spirit of fear that has jumped up on your shoulders it's, and it's been saying, give up, give up, give up, give up, give up. Sis, I'm sorry. Look at the fear in its face and say, is that all you have? Let me introduce you to, uh, to my God. Let me introduce you to that one to where I'm going to come over this mountain. I'm coming through this valley. I'm going to be fruitful. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, sis. Come on, sis. Let it go. Come on. You just let the Holy Ghost flow. Come on. Let it go. Come on, girl. Open your mouth. Well, preacher, I've been through this, and I've been through this, and I've been through this, and, and then I've been through this worry, and I've been through this worry. But guess what, girl? You're still here. You showed up this morning, and that says a lot. You know why? Because I didn't give in to the fear. I didn't give in to the doubt. I didn't give in to that battle. I know there's something that is in the house of God that is waiting on me, and his name is Jesus. Jesus will meet you at where you are, but, but you got to make up your mind. I got to dress up. I got to get on my glad rags. I didn't come in here to see what you got on. I come in here to worship the Lord. Hello, sis. Come on, stand on your feet for me, please. Yes, ma'am. There is worry and worry and worry and worry and worry, sis. And I see the worry. It is breaking off and it's melting off. And God's turning this around, sis. And I see a positive mi mindset, God. You're doing this. God, you're doing this. And sis, I see family and family that God is going to touch on both sides, sis. God, come on, sis. Come on, that's right. The weight and the pressure is coming off of your shoulders and you'll be able to breathe right. God, now I've got a second wind. I've got a breath of fresh, God of fresh air. Everything is turning in my favor. It's gonna be all right in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Whenever we think that he can't, he won't. But when we think that he can, he will. And Jesus just shows up. He says, hey, I'm here. What do you want? What do you want me to do? One of the greatest things that God can ever do for us is forgive us for us to forgive somebody else. You're battling with your yesterdays. And that's what you're dealing with, girl. And that's why the weight is so hard. And that's why the frustration is so rough in your mind. I'm trying to make it, God. I'm trying to make it, God. I'm trying. Sis, quit trying and just do it.
it'll change whenever you change. See, it's a long lane that never changes, but once it changes, it changes for eternity. And it don't never come back that way again. Sis, come on, you just let yesterday go. It's over. It's done. It's gone. It's like a bucket in the river. Once you drop it, it's gone. We live for God long enough, you know what? We're going to dash our foot. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to say things that we ain't supposed to say. But, but you know what? Since we have an advocate with our Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. <laughs> Yesterday is gone. It's completely over. Hallelujah, Lord. Hello, sis. Come on, stand on your feet for me, please. Yeah, come on, chop, chop. Now, coming down, oh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, the ninth vertebra coming from your, of coming from the base of your skull, coming down. I see them pushing this over and lining up your hips, sis, and things is about to work right, right in the name of, Right in the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you this morning, God, for that supernatural touch and this spirit that has been trying to weigh on you, sis. It is coming off, and I see joy, and I see joy, and I see joy, and I see joy. Come on, girl, come on. And I see joy, and I see joy, and I see joy. was saying that you can't have joy. Tell, tell them to go hide and watch somebody. I'm going to laugh my way through it. I'm going to rejoice, God. It, it's going to be all right. Come on, girl. Go ahead. Joy in the name of Jesus. I've got victory because I didn't quit. Come on, sis, look at me. The financial needs a situation. Come on, God's turning this around just like this. And he's going to meet it. I don't know where it's coming from, sis. I'm not God. But I know what I see in the Holy Ghost. And God is busting this thing open, sis. <laughs> Hallelujah, Lord. I do thank you this morning. There has been a self-esteem. There has been a self-esteem in you that, that's been trying to weigh you down. But I see a positive that is coming up. Go, ha ha, come on, girl. Ha 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 ha. Say, I can yeah. do all things through God, which strengthens me. Put it on your mirror. Put it in your car. Read it every day. See it every day. Yeah. Come on, you got to tell that devil to put that in his pipe and smoke it. Come on. Proverbs 20, uh, 21 and verse 22. A wise man scaleth the city of the mighty and casteth down the strength of the confidence thereof. What is the confidence of your adversary? Here is how he wins. He wins by deception. That is exactly how he wins. And that is why that he cannot stand truth because truth exposes everything that, that he is. And whenever you get into the word of God, hey, it is exposing him for who he really is. Hello, sir. You're looking at the uh, screen back there. You, uh, you in the white shirt. Come on, sir. Uh, raise both hands for me, please, sir. Let's see. 41, 43, 47. I said about $4,900, sir. It's going to completely step in and take care of a situation for you. You watch what the Holy Ghost does. God is moving on your behalf. Hallelujah, God. 
Mm, Jesus. Hello, says you are standing in front of the, you're in front of that computer. Come on, stand, stand on your feet for me, please. Let's see, 4, 8, 12, 16, in about 21 days, says there'll be a change. God is changing the whole dynamic of a situation for you. It's going to change. It's going to be better and happy and better and happy and better and happy. I really, in the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you this morning. Hallelujah, God. Ha ha. The one that is coming against you, you're about to see him go down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, girl. Ha ha. Sarejo torre boyanda maye. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Our mindset has got to come. I'm not stopping. See, there's something that I've taught my kids. This is what Jacob told me. He said, Daddy, you taught me to be this way. You never give up. Come on, you never give up. The only thing that I'm going to surrender to is the hand of God. Everything else I'm going to fight my way through. I'm going to claw my way through. I'm going to bite my way through. Hallelujah, Lord. Hello, sir. Stand to your feet for me again, please. I want you to come lay your hands on this young man right here in the Holy Ghost and pray a blessing on him and pray a financial blessing on him. Come on. This, come on, he's standing up. Pray it on him. Jesus. Pray it on him. God, you bless me. I thank you for blessing my brother. Hey, partner, you're going to think I'm crazy, but if you pull your water down and throw, it, and throw it on the floor and just dance around that thing, you watch what the Holy Ghost does. Come on, dance, come on, dance around it. Come on. You need a financial blessing, honey. Pull out, hey, pull out your wallet. Throw it on the ground and just dance around it. You, hey, you think I'm crazy. It works. Hey, you are dancing in faith. You are worshiping in faith. And Jesus is going to answer you. He'll do it. He'll do it. He'll do it. You caused that business to boom. God, you send him people to buy from him every day in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let them beat down the door trying to get in in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost told, told the lady in Arab, Alabama, said, honey, if you'll take that wallet out and just dance around it, God give her a $5,000 a year raise. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell me that, that it don't work. See, we want to figure out God, but God blows up our little chemistry set so we can't figure him out. Hello, it works. God stretches our faith. What can you believe him for to do? Mm. 
Isaiah 36 and verse 15. Neither let Hezekiah make you trust in the Lord, saying, The Lord will surely deliver us. This city shall not be delivered into the hand of the king of Assyria. He tries to get into your mind, and he tries to get into your emotions. And it's not a one-day thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday. Whenever you open up your eyes, whenever you come out of prayer, whenever you head to work, whenever you lay down, whenever you wrestle during the night, every time you show up, at church, the enemy's going, I don't know why you are believing that church junkie stuff. I'm sorry. I, hey, look, I am a church junkie, and I've got to have this. I don't know about you. God prepares a buffet every service. Hey, I'm a little bit hoggish when it comes to the things of God. You know why? I know what he's done for me. I know where he brought me from. I know how he healed me. I know how he, I know how he has delivered me. Maybe, maybe God's never, maybe you've never been delivered like I've been delivered. You see, we, we think that we're supposed to be discreet, and we really are, but, but, but when it comes to the things of God, I'm sorry, I'm going to be me, and I can't be nobody else. See, because you can't be me because you don't stutter like me. You ready to see it break, son? You really ready to see it break? Come on, I see finances, and I see a job, and you butt this wall, and you butt this wall, and you butt this wall. Sir, when you was dancing just a minute ago, I seen a finger go in the middle, of, right in the middle of that wall, and it punched a hole in it. And I seen things begin to drain through that wall. And this is what the Holy Ghost said. Tell him if he wants to see it, bust, praise him in a dance. Go ahead. I just heard a thought that says, Preacher, that sounds crazy. Hey, whenever God blesses him with something brand new, what are you going to do? When God blesses his house, what are you going to do? When God blesses his finances, what are you going to do? He just don't speak it for one. Come on. There is more. Hey, hey, there's more of you in here. Well, preacher, I'm sorry. I'm not very emotional. Have you ever been around somebody that they act like you just spit in their cornflakes? Hey, look, I apologize, okay, but I'm just a little bit country. Sure, he's going to heal that foot right. There are bones that is in the top of that foot that they think is not going to come back right. But God said, sir, they're going to come back right in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. Ha ha. You want to feel a miracle? Come and lay your hands on that foot, son. Come on. Come on, chop, chop. Yeah. Come on, bro. Amen. Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. God, let him feel the healing virtue come out of his body. If he can get into your mind. The Bible says uh, uh, to spoil not his resting place. Let me explain something to you. There is something about rest. It is one of the greatest tools. It is one of the most powerful tools that, uh, that we have. You know why? Because our mind is being refreshed. Our body is being refreshed. And yet we allow the enemy to come in and spoil us. 
My wife will tell you. She'll say, Keith Phillips, you don't know how to sit still. I don't. I guess I'm hyper and ADD and, hey, hey look, I like I add stuff. I don't like that short, that I subtract. I love my energy. But there are times that God says, hey, you're going to sleep this morning. I'm going to talk to you. The third morning. Son, the angel's coming into your room. He's coming. You've been saying, God, what truly about me? What do I really need to pursue? Because God's blessed you. You'll wear many coats and many hats in this life. But let me tell you what God's going to do for you. You're going to follow in the footsteps of that man. And that's what you didn't want to hear. God's about to provide a wife for you, son. Come on, she, she's going to pray for you. She's going to pick you up. Go ask my wife. The, stay with me. There are times that I said, honey, I don't think I can go out there today. I just, I just, I just. And she said, <clears throat> you get up and you get your glad rags on. And you get your shouting shoes on. And you get your carcass in that service. You have heard from the Lord. Get out there. Thank God for a great mate. She's going to pull that very potential out of you that says, God, I know that you can do anything. <laughs> God, I didn't really want to hear that, God, but I feel your spirit going, God, I do accept it. God, I'm going to run with it. I'm going to live in it. I'm going to walk in it. I'm going to dance in it. Come on, Pastor, dance with him. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama and Dad. Come on and dance with him. In the name of Jesus Christ. When our children, when they are walking in truth, anything is possible. Get in your mind. Go ahead, sis. Come on, go ahead. You've been wanting to dance throughout this whole service. Come on. See, I believe in just breaking out and just letting God ju ju just have his way. When we can step beyond our traditional thinking and let God br break into where we are. There are limits that we have set on ourselves. Step beyond your limit. Come on. He wants to get into your mind and he wants to discourage you. 1 Samuel 27 and 1. And David said in his heart, I shall one day perish by the hand of Saul. You know what David was? He was on the bottom. When God gets ready to build a man, he puts him on the bottom and he builds him from the bottom up. I'm going to perish. You're not going to perish. Come on, David. You're going to be king. You're going to be king. You're going to be king. Come on. 
Hey, partner, come on, brother, look at me. God's going to allow you to step out of the mold. Because you've got some ideas, and they're going to work. God, if you do this, this, and this, what, what will happen? I see 10, 20, 40, 100, 200. I see you standing before two or 300 young, young people. If you will give it to God, this is what he'll do for you. Get your girlfriend there right, right by the hand, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, come on. She's your girlfriend. I know. That's my wife. First, she was your girlfriend. Come on. When I was coming up the road, this is why. And I seen you two going. You was crying. And there was a test, and it said positive. Hmm. <laughs> Don't think for one minute that he can't. I see boxes being packed and lining the wall. I see stepping out of one home, and I see stepping into another. In the name of Jesus Christ, sir, he is going to make the way. I see the fenced-in backyard. Come on. That's right. God is going to be in a jam-up neighborhood, if not in the country. Come on, that's right. Hallelujah, Jesus. I do thank you, Lord. Come on, I'm trying to land, okay? Hello, Elder. Come on, lift your hands for me, sis. Yes, ma'am, you're in the white sweater. Coming, coming from across the body. Up top and across the body, sis. He's going to strengthen you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. And sis, the beating of your heart is going to start beating right. It's going to start beating strong and normal in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. Honey, go lay your hands on her. I thank you this morning. I thank you this morning. <laughs> Sis, I see a boy that is likened to a son. He may not be a son, but he's likened to. And God is turning that boy around. Come on, he's coming back right on into the house of God. There was a change. There was a change. There was a worship. Ha, ha, ha. I see the hook being put in the jaw, and he can't run no more. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. The Lord has heard your cry. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. Come on, if you're not standing, come on and stand with me. I'm trying to land. Hello, sis in the red. Lift both hands for me, please. You got on the black jacket. Come on, lift both hands for me, please. Oh. About $7,100, sis, and, he, and it'll take care of it. When you figure out all three things, it'll come to about $7,142 and no cents right in, the, in the name of Jesus Christ. And says he, he, he's going to answer you. He's going to answer for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you this morning. Hallelujah, God. Mato molesetete. Sis, she's changing things in the home. It's coming to joy and joy and joy. What was heartache and sorrow? Come on, sis, he's bringing to joy. Come on, he's bringing to joy. From wringing the hands to God, I, to God, I don't know. To God supplying. And I thank you, Lord. Do I know how he's going to do it? Nope. I'm not God. 
But this I do know is that God's going to move for you, sis. In the name of Jesus. 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 Come on, girl. Come on. The Holy Ghost is all over you. Pull your mask down in, in the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. Let it go. Let it go. Right, right now. Come on. There it is. Come on. Somebody come on to the music, please. You, you held on. You held on. And you didn't quit. You, come on. You got a tenacity. You have a strength that you never had before. And God has brought you through all because you refuse to quit. Oh, I can exit any time. Any time God will let you step out of the battle. Any time. But you'll not go any higher than when you step out. To go higher, you got to step back on up in God. The anointing chair is about to get strong. Very strong. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. All because we didn't quit. We didn't quit. Give me about two minutes, okay? God, I thank you, Lord. See, you don't never get close to the anointing without it not sliding off on you. You'll not get close to the things of God You'll not get close to, uh, to the fire without getting the smell of smoke on you. And in time to come, there is an anointing that's going to slide to this boy. I see the wisdom of the age men like the moss on the trees. God, you use this young man. Lay your hands on him. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. When it gets time, the anointing, I start making room. I didn't grow up in this. I didn't grow up in this thing called church. I was a heathen. I was good at being a heathen. When God called me, I said, God, I stutter. He said, so? I said, but Moses had Aaron. He said, you got me. I feel the mouth of Moses. I feel the mouth of Moses. So I can feel your mouth. 
There's some here within the sound of my voice. The enemy has tried to contain you and entertain you to where that you would veer off and step on through the door. And maybe tomorrow. Maybe and tomorrow becomes tomorrow. Tomorrow becomes tomorrow. Then each day it gets a little bit easier not to get into the presence of the Lord. I can't imagine not going a day without just the fellowship of Him at His feet. There's some of you in here within the sound of my voice. There's a string that is breaking an attachment that the enemy has tried to attach to you. I see the Lord stepping in and just burning this string off. I heard shackles and chains rattling. I seen shackles being loose when everybody was dancing before service. The spirit realm vibrating because of the power that lies within you. When the Holy Ghost first started ministering, it sounded like a jet airplane just took off. And I was sitting there and I was thinking, Lord, what is this? And he said, their praise has broke through to the atmosphere to me. Some here may be wrestling with family issues. Some may be financial issues. Don't matter. But you didn't quit. And you're still here. Come on, and you're still here. And you're still here. Son, you with the glasses, lift both hands for me, please, sir. Yeah. The intimidation that beats you down And it puts its foot on your head. And then you get to thinking, I'm not worthy. I can't do it. I can't live it. I can't walk it. I can't talk it. All because of the spirit of intimidation. The intimidation, son, is coming off of you in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord, for a confidence in God. In the name of Je Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. Ha -ha. Whatever you're facing, here, hey, here is an altar. God, I've dealt with this for so long, God. I've got to lay this upon the altar. God, I've been intimidated for too long. Yeah. Yeah. I've been hindered for too long. God, I've stepped in the exit door for too long. Not coming to the house of God, playing church, going through the motions. Nobody I know, but God knows. God knows. God knows. It's not time to quit. Young person, it's not time to quit. Come on, it's not time to quit. Some here within the sound of my voice, you've been, de you've been dealing with peer pressure, and their peer pressure has been very severe. But if you'll bring it and put it on this altar and give it to God, he will turn this peer pressure and give you a favor that will blow your mind. God, I'm being pulled on every direction, God. Help me today. God, I know where the victory is, and it's just beyond the exit of quitting. It's there. But you've got to push through. Come on and push through. Come on and push through. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. These that are around the altar, come on. Come on and pray. Come on, people. Come on and pray. Come and lay your hands on somebody. Come and help somebody today. Come, come, come strengthen somebody in the name of Jesus. You may have overcome 
a very great obstacle, but the one that you're sitting beside may, may be dealing with things that they hadn't overcome yet. Encourage them. Strengthen them. Oh, God, you speak a word in their life that God is going to give them the victory. In the name of Jesus, I thank you this morning. I thank you today.